Thanks for coming by this morning. Nice to see you. Uh, how would you like to meet like it, Johnny. one of Southern California's greatest MCs, like Johnny Grant? Come Tiger, come on up for a second. Come on. Johnny, you got the mic on? This is a fellow who speaks with presidents, who represents Hollywood in as many trips to Vietnam. He's been over about 14 Williams? times. He's been over to the uh, uh, Far East about 14 times, entertainment soldier. Johnny, take it away for a second. Well, good morning. You having a good time? Sure, huh? Let's get another kind of a contest, you know. Anybody here from, uh, from where? See, we'll get a hollering and yelling here and then everybody. A little louder. The boys want to record all the stories, you see. Why don't you say it, please, when I say one, two, three, then all yeah, We love Julie. Then the guys can get it. Can you do it? One, two, three. Well, here's Julie Andrews arriving in front of Grumman's Chinese Theater. She has brightened things considerably here this morning. Whoop, she's about to get tangled in our cord. She is moving around right up to be greeted by Ira Cook and to say hello to several hundred people who have gathered here early on Saturday morning for this event. Let's listen. And the premiere of Mary Poppins was a thrilling thing. But the sound of music is the big thing, isn't it? It seems to be, yes. When you made the motion picture, did you realize it would turn out to be one of the biggest motion pictures in the world? Uh, not quite, no. We did have hopes for that. It was quite good. It's a marvelous picture, magnificent. It's something that will be remembered all the time. Something else, Julie. You have just finished a picture called Hawaii, I understand. That's my favorite place. And could you tell us briefly? What is it about? Uh, I can't do it briefly. Uh, <laughs> it's too, too big a picture. It's uh, about the uh, island that we wrote and uh, eventual uh, emancipation record. It's a book that is well read, and as I remember, ran over uh, 700 pages, so no, it will be a hard job to describe it briefly. You appear in the Corn Crystal Yes, sir. And this is a mystery? Yes, it is. A typical suspense Hitchcock picture. One more question, Julie, then we'll let you go. This is a history-making day today, and I know you're thrilled. You are going to be making a picture in May, am I right? Yes. And the name? Uh, it's going to be called, at the moment, thoroughly not committee. It's about the 1920s. It sounds delightful. Julie Andrews, thank you very much for coming over. And ladies and gentlemen, let's, let's have a nice hand for one of the world's greatest motion picture stars. Well, it's Julie Andrews now, about to disrobe, so to speak. The beautiful fur coat is coming off, and she will now place her footprints and handprints in the cement here at Grumman's Chinese Theater. Incidentally, she is the 150... Well, the ceremony is about to begin now as Miss Julie Andrews places her hand and footprints in the cement here at Grumman's Chinese Theater. I might add that there is a little uh, excitement and maybe a little bit of confusion. She is the 151st film celebrity to participate in the traditional ceremonies, and these date back to 1927. That's Eugene Klein there, the president of National General, who will uh, assist Julie in this, uh, well, she seems to be very happy, I might add. 
Yes, and Frank Sinatra was the last person to place his footprints here, and that was several months ago. I was saying this uh, dates back to 1927, when Norma Talmadge started by tradition, or started the tradition by accident. The handprints are down. Ira Cook is here describing this for the people watching in. Quite a crowd gathered here this Saturday morning. Special cement being used. And I understand the secret of this cement is about as well kept as that of the atomic bomb or maybe Coca-Cola. She will now come right over and wash her hands, posing for photographers, including ours. A mad beehive of activity here at Grumman's Chinese Theater. Congratulations, that's quite an honor. Thank you, it, it is. Do they have anything like this in England? Uh, no, not that I know of. And I'll bet that's the first time you ever uh, signed your autograph with a chopstick, isn't it? Yes. Let's talk about your motion pictures now. I know you've just returned from uh, Hawaii, where you did the... Well, it's it's titled Hawaii, isn't it? Yes, it is. And, uh, and then after that, I did a film for Alfred Hitchcock called The Torn Curtain. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I'm having a small holiday. 
How do you feel about the Academy Awards coming up? Uh, nervous. Are you really nervous? Oh, one always is. Uh -huh, I would think so on that. What do you plan to do now? You're out here this morning. Many hundreds of your fans are here with We Love Julie signs. Did you see them, by the way? Look over there. I love Julie. It uh, must, must make you feel real good to see that. Yes, it does. It certainly beats those signs that say, uh, get out of Vietnam and things like that. <laughs> yes. Well, incidentally, you know, I am on the committee that uh, recruits the people for Vietnam, and I made the survey, and your name was right up in top of uh, people that they wanted to see. That was our GIs. There. Oh, that's lovely. And they see your movies over there. Well, I think you're about ready to do what now? Is it about over here? I think so, yes. And you have nothing like this over in, uh, in England. Where is your home there? In England, uh, London. Now, why is it that so many of the English people come here to make pictures and our people go to England? Well, I think it's a nice kind of lend-lease. Well, I think it is, too, but it uh, probably helps the travel business, too, doesn't it? I think so, yes. It does. Well, you're very lovely, and thank you so much for talking to you're us. You're welcome. Goodbye. Right, camera set. Right away, right now. <laughs> 